Now the last thing of the chapter, what is variance and standard deviation? To calculate the variance, first of all, we must know how we calculate the variance and what method we adopt. As and when you want to calculate variance, obviously we need the deviations. But deviations about mean, not about median. If a problem is given to you, you want to calculate its variance and before calculating the variance, you have to calculate the mean. And when the mean is subtracted from each observation, you know that is known as the deviation. So if first deviation is D1, its square is D1 square. Second deviation is D2, then D2 square. Third deviation is D3, then its square. Last deviation is Dn, then its square. Sum of squares of all deviations when divided by number of observations that is known as the formula of variance. So what is the variance? Variance when you want to calculate, you must obtain mean, subtract mean from each observation, get deviations, make their squares, add those values, divide by number of observations is variance and standard deviation when square root of variance is taken that is known as standard deviation but as per requirement of question i am explaining you here all the results first result is 1 upon n sigma xi minus x bar whole square this is the expanded notation of the last thing which i have written here in case you want to calculate the variance with the help of if fi frequencies are given then fi into xi square first of all observations are given frequencies are given then we will calculate the square of xi when xi square is multiplied by fi then fi into xi square is sum divided by total number of observations or sigma fi minus this is what means whole square variance second result if you want to use the shortcut method that as in the class 10th deviation di xi minus assumed mean then result is 1 upon n sigma fi di square minus 1 upon n sigma fi di whole square if mean is obtained by the step deviation method then formula is h square h is the class size its square multiplied by 1 upon n sigma fi ui square ui you know well ui is xi minus assumed mean upon h minus sigma fi ui upon n's whole square so what is variance variance to calculate we must calculate the deviations and as per requirement of question we can apply any of the method and if we want to obtain the standard deviation it is the square root of variance. Now I want to explain you how to calculate the variance and the standard deviation by taking an example. Find mean variance and standard deviation of the problem. The classes are 30 to 40 with frequency 3, 40 to 50 frequency 7, 50 to 60 frequency 12, 60 to 70 frequency 15, 70 to 80 frequency 8, 80 to 90 frequency 3, 90 to 100 frequency 2. This part is given. We want to calculate its standard deviation, variance. So we need to calculate the mean. So to obtain mean, we have to calculate mid values x, y. This x, i is 30 to 40, midpoint 35, then 45, 55, 65, 75, 85 and 95. Class marks of these class intervals by using the result lower limit plus upper limit upon 2. Out of all these observations, any of the observation can be adopted as the mean, assumed mean by the shortcut method as we did in class 10. Suppose 65 is taken as our assumed mean, then ui which is xi minus assumed mean upon h. 
gives us 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Ui square is 3 square 9, 2 square 4, 1 square 1, 0 square 0, 1 square 1, 2 square 4 and 3 square 9. So we have to uh, calculate the column Fi Ui. This is Fi and this is Ui. Their product is minus 9, their product is minus 14, their product is minus 12, 15, 0 is 15, 8, 1 is 8, 3, 4, then 3, then this is what 2, then 2, 3 is 6. Fi Ui's net sum is minus 15. And then Fi into Ui square comes 27, 28, 12, 0, 8, 12, 18. Its sum comes to be 105. To calculate the mean by the step deviation method, you know the formula. Assumed mean plus sigma Fi Ui upon sigma Fi. So mean is, assumed mean is 65 minus Fi Ui is 15 upon sum of observations 15 into class size 10 mean comes out to be 62. For obtaining the variance, formula is h square upon n, h is what 10, it's square 100 upon n is 50, h square upon n into sigma fi into ui square. Sigma fi ui square's result is this 105 and then it is minus 15 whole square. Using this result, it comes to be 201. And the standard deviation is what root of 201 that is what 14.18. So we can calculate the mean, variance and standard deviation as the results formally discussed with you. We can apply the formula whichever is required in any of the problem.